Thank you very much for joining me, I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for all of those uh, taking the time to subscribe to this channel as we build this weather community. All right, a couple things I'm watching. This blob here near Colombia, close to uh, Costa Rica, Panama, that may be catching your attention. I want to get into that and how that could influence the entire Caribbean. And then as we swing back here, there's a little spin out here, but there was that old tropical disturbance yesterday, the first one of the season, as expected, as we were talking about in yesterday's video, that did fall apart. So let's dive into this first. There's a lot of moisture building up and it's like a, it's like a roadway, just a, a, the moisture streaming up. So this moisture here back near Panama, Colombia, even as you get over toward the Eastern Pacific, a lot of this is actually feeding up toward the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. And that is going to keep our weather active. Some of this moisture, especially as we get into the upcoming hurricane season, will start to drift its way into the Eastern Pacific side where it could develop. But as of now, now we've been watching some areas of heavy rain, parts of Panama, Colombia, uh, parts of uh, Venezuela, and some of this will be streaming up toward Hispaniola, watching uh, Puerto Rico, even the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. We keep some showers and storms in the forecast as we get into the weekend. But looking ahead uh, here, some of this moisture also may kind of drift its way off toward uh, the west and kind of get in here. Now, this is a spot I watch for development this time of year on the eastern Pacific side where the hurricane season starts starts a little earlier. I want to get into the hurricane season, La Nina versus El Nino. I'll do that in a moment, but let me get back to kind of the immediate picture and what we're seeing here. Now, anytime we get a flare up of some rain, especially in the Caribbean, when we have water temperatures this warm, I do monitor uh, even before the hurricane season for tropical development. As of now, this moisture down here, I'm not seeing any signs that it wants to develop looking at all the models and environmental conditions. I don't just look at the models. Uh, things aren't uh, right or conducive for development, but watching that area of rain. But these water temperatures, something to really watch the next few weeks leading up to hurricane season to see if anything does want to spin up over the next uh, couple weeks. So let me get to this and then break down El Nino and La Nina. Here's a Panama, Costa Rica today, Colombia, that higher chance of rain. And it's this uh, roadway of some rain that streams all the way up near the Turks and Caicos, Haiti, a few showers and storms, Dominican Republic, watching out for more isolated areas of flooding today and still scattered showers and storms stick around for Puerto Rico while us in St. Lucia, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, for example, Grenada, way too dry. We've had water restrictions. I'm thinking of you. We've had a very dry April in many locations. So it's hard to talk about the rain in one spot and not another. But as we get into tomorrow and into Sunday, more scattered showers and storms around same locations, Panama, Costa Rica, and once again, Haiti, the DR back through Puerto Rico. We may get clipped by a few showers in our northeastern uh, Caribbean zones, uh, Ceiba, Stacia, uh, Montserrat, Antigua, Barbuda, Anguilla. We could see a few showers around. That's more of the isolated nature. And then by Sunday, the rain chance picking up. Uh, Suriname even trying to drip back toward Guyana, especially for early next week. So let me start small and then widen out the picture. Three day rain totals through the weekend. Here's San Andres. We get back through Costa Rica into Panama. And you see the totals, especially in Panama. Some of the spots over the next three days will be upwards of 100. 50 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain. So if you're in Costa Rica, Panama, and parts of Colombia, please keep me posted on what you get through the weekend, the conditions around you, put your location and what you're getting in the comments. That helps uh, this uh, weather community. The bigger picture we get toward uh, Jamaica, Haiti, and the D DR. Jamaica will get a few showers and storms around. The rain chance will start to pick up. This moisture stream will try to clip Jamaica. So especially on Sunday, we have a better chance of some rain and storms in Jamaica. Dominican Republic in the next three days, once again, we'll have some spots of 100 millimeters of rain or upwards of four inches of rain. And you can see for a lot of us in the Eastern Caribbean, we are way too dry dealing with the water shortages that we have. Now getting into the hurricane season, it officially starts June 1st, but every now and then we get a named storm in the month of May and we're just about there And the water temperatures like I showed you conducive for development. So this season we may see some development before the start of the hurricane season. So kind of switching over into tropical mode on this channel. Thank you for sharing this channel with others. Now we're about to enter into the hurricane season, which officially starts on June 1st in the month of May. There's been 50 tropical uh, systems uh, on record, four of those have actually become 
hurricane. So May is a month to really watch as we get into the hurricane season. Now, La Nina versus El Nino. These are the averages. I've covered what El Nino is and La Nina in previous videos, so I won't dive into that, but we're about to get into a La Nina pattern. And the takeaway from this map is that in a La Nina season, we have more named storms on average than El Nino. On average, in a La Nina pattern, there are 17 named storms. A lot of those become hurricanes. El Nino is usually quieter in the hurricane season. Now this season, because of the water temperatures and the heat content, the warm water that goes way down down deep, I do believe we're going to see upwards of 20 plus named storms. I gave you my forecast earlier of about 22 named storms for this season. Could be higher than that. So it is going to be very active. But with that said, uh, try to pass along good news. That doesn't mean the storm's going to hit us. It just means uh, we're going to have a lot of action out there and I'll take it storm by storm. I need to see the conditions at the time, the, the uh, steering pattern at the time to know where things are go going to go. So yes, very active, but that doesn't mean everything uh, comes our way. It's a wait and see on that. Now, the middle of the U.S. has been dealing with severe weather back toward Oklahoma. Uh, thinking of you, uh, parts of Texas, there were some tornadoes last night. See how very active it is here. So we have this going on here, and then you get down here. Here's that moisture stream that I was talking about riding right through the Caribbean, tied in to the tail end of a front here. So this is later today. Severe weather tornado potential back toward the middle portions of the U.S. Then as we go from Friday into Saturday, that pattern is going to hold as we go through the really entire weekend. We get into Saturday still watching out for severe weather threat. Over here you see kind of building again, and there's that moisture stream with that chance of some showers. ABC Islands, rain chance still not too high. I hope we get clipped by a shower, but the rain chance isn't too high. Eastern Cuba, we'll see a better chance of some showers and storms. And then you see on Sunday, once again, a severe weather threat up here. And once again, watching the rain back toward Costa Rica, Panama, and you see Jamaica, better chance of some afternoon showers and storms once we work our way into the second half of the weekend. So here that is, you see the rain chance going up and we need it. It is not widespread rain, but as we go through the weekend, at least we have some scattered showers and storms. If you're in Jamaica, please leave your location and what you get or don't get in those comments. I'll be going through that uh, throughout the weekend. Cayman Islands uh, being off more to the uh, west of that moisture stream. Our rain chance is not too high, only 20%. Trinidad and Tobago, we're watching some of the hot weather around. Minimal chance of rain. Barbados, the rain chance stays minimal. And a 20% chance through St. Lucia. Watching those water restrictions out there for many of us. You see the rain chance holding at 20% in Grenada. This is where it, uh, we've had uh, very dry conditions as a whole uh, throughout uh, the month of April. St. Vincent, the Grenadines, rain chance not high. Some of us have been too wet this week. Others have been way too dry. Martinique, rain chance 10 to 20% through the weekend. Dominica, a rain chance very isolated this weekend a 20 percent chance guadalupe we're looking at a 20 percent chance could see a little uptick at times as we go through the weekend i was showing you that today we could get a few showers in antigua barbuda and the rain chance does go up on sunday sunday we have a slightly better chance of some showers around st kitts and nevis could get a passing shower and uh, over toward montserrat through the weekend anguilla and st bart's rain chance does trend up some sunday into monday with a few passing showers st martin saba and stacia isolate at 30% the next couple days. Puerto Rico in that moisture stream, that moisture road, scattered showers and storms. Watching out for a few around the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, a 30 to 40% chance, and still seeing that 40 to 50% chance in the Dominican Republic. And if you get some rain in the DR, some of it will be heavy with isolated flooding. Get back toward Haiti, closer to the uh, DR border. That's where the rain chance will be a little higher, 30 to 40% chance through the weekend. Bahamas, hit or miss shower here and there. Rain chance, Turks and Caicos. We may get clipped by a few isolated showers. Cuba, 10% as a whole. Drier western and central zones. Better chance of a few storms this weekend in uh, our eastern sections. Belize, rain chance back to about 30% this weekend. A 20% chance in the Yucatan, uh, Mexico. Now Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire. Hopefully, rain chance goes up a little bit. We see one or two of those showers kind of creeping out of Colombia and Venezuela that will try to move by. We have been
and just so dry. Bermuda, rain chance stays on the low side. And of course, as we've been talking about Costa Rica and uh, Panama, not all of us, but uh, many of us in Costa Rica and Panama, that rain chance will be on the high side. Guyana, it starts to go up on Sunday, and you see that trend going up again in Suriname on Sunday and watching out for some showers and storms isolated to scattered in northern Venezuela. So monitoring the southern Caribbean with that area of rain, no signs of development, watching those water restrictions for some of us and the drought conditions. Still some areas of dust, but not as bad as earlier this week. So thank you for putting a like on the videos, subscribing to this channel, and just sharing this information with others. I hope you have a good day and a great weekend ahead.